So this is how your uh, laptop would look like when you upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 8 Pro. Um, yeah, I'll take you straight to the start menu after you log in. And the difference between Windows 8 and Windows 7, there's no start menu showing anymore when you hover your mouse on the left corner. Um, and you want to go to the desktop, you just click on here and this is my desktop. I don't have much on it. Um, you can also click on the Windows button on your keyboard. It will take you from your desktop to your start menu and vice versa. I've done a clean install of Windows 8 and as you can see there's not much um, bloatware installed. Just a couple of Microsoft apps. Alright, let's have a quick tour of Windows 8. Um, there are a few apps pre-installed and for instance the mail app is just to show you you can um, read your email but you can't uh, print any of your mails so that's a bummer and um, the calendar which uh, you can synchronize with your gmail calendar or any other um, calendar apps that you are using uh, there's a maps uh, app and the new internet explorer <coughs> works uh, pretty good it's pretty fast as you can see let's just um, click a link for instance as you can see the browsing is very smooth Microsoft uses Bing as their main search engine so uh, it is pre-installed and uh, it works and it's looking good um, but if you prefer Google or so uh, you can edit as well see it works pretty good As for now, there are not many um, good social networking apps in the App Store yet. Um, so you have to create your own um, social networking tile. For um, instance, um, Facebook. You just open up Facebook in uh, Internet Explorer and add them as favorite. And after that, you just um, pin that favorite in your start menu. It's working pretty good. The same goes for Google+. Plus. And that's it. Also pre-installed for instance is the weather app here. It's uh, looking pretty good and it shows you all the information that you need. Um, scrolling to the right with your mouse you can see it gives you hourly um, forecast, shows you uh, satellite maps etc etc. Um, you can also add um, additional um, locations uh, for instance I have here Amsterdam and um, if you want to see the world weather in one click there you have it just to show you just how little apps there are in the App Store I'll uh, fire up the App Store as you can see they're uh, just a handful but it's pretty well laid out it's pretty neat if you go to business for instance you can see there's only a couple of apps, apps. just to show you that all the hardware on the Toshiba P870 works fine in Windows 8 I'll fire up the control panel and show you in hardware manager that everything worked just fine as you can see there are no hardware conflicts at all everything works just fine uh, which wasn't the case after the fresh install of Windows 8 but after uh, downloading and installing all the drivers everything works correctly now all right Okay, if you're mainly working from this uh, modern style UE or formerly 
the metro style UI. Uh, you will want to keep your screen as clean as possible and get rid of all the cluster. Um, for me, I just leave tiles on that I uh, use a lot. And if you want to use other applications which are not showing in here, you just right click on the screen and then click on all apps which will show you all the uh, installed applications in Windows. One other thing, uh, when you install desktop apps, it will show up all the other extra stuff that you don't need. Instead of uh, like in Windows 7, it will be nicely put in a uh, separate folder. But anyway, you have to live with it. Microsoft has been very good at hiding all the system tools in uh, Windows 8. And as a first time Windows 8 user, I was having a lot of trouble finding these tools during the first couple of minutes in Windows 8, which was pretty frustrating. I'll quickly show you how to get these tools back on your start screen. Um, just simply um, hover your mouse to the uh, upper right or bottom um, right side of your screen and then um, the charm bar should pop up, which in this case it's always a hit and miss. Anyway, um, just click on tiles and then move the slider to the right to show the administrative tools and click somewhere on the screen. Now scroll left to right with your mouse and there you have them. All the basic system tools for you to play with. Finally, one last thing I want to show you is um, how to customize the look of your um, screen. Um, just hover over here and till you get the charm bar, go to change PC settings. And then you can change the background of your lock screen in this mode. Uh, change the color of your start screen to whichever colors you like. And you can also add different background. <clears throat> Here you can change your account settings, general settings here for time and location. And that's it. And finally, um, I have added a, sh a shutdown button here because if you want to shut down your system, you have to go through a lot of clicks. Normally you'll have to do this and click on sign out, but then you'll get into the login screen and then on a click on log off um, shutdown. But this is very handy. Just one click and it shuts off your system. Also, if you hate the uh, modern UI and you prefer to work from within the desktop, uh, you might as well create a shortcut um, and call it God Mode. With um, the shortcut, you can have all your Windows settings in one click. Um, for instance, you want to go to uh, change the font settings. You have it here. You can also um, change um, or delete your browser history or whatever. Um, you got all the settings here in one click. So all your setting here in under one click. <clears throat> Uninstall program. Just as easy. The price for the upgrade was uh, too good to resist so uh, I gave it a go. And uh, everything works fine just as you can see. There's no um, hardware um, conflicts at all everything is, is uh, compatible thanks for watching this video you guys and uh, if you got any questions just hit me up and uh, don't forget to hit the like button as well and subscribe